In this tutorial, we will see how to compute the inventory turnover ratio in days of supply. The inventory turnover ratio is better known as inventory turns or just turns. Imagine a company that has an average annual inventory of $1 million and their cost of goods sold was $2 million. The company would have turned $1 million of inventory into $2 million in sales. In other words, they turned the inventory over twice. Thus, their inventory turns was 2. That is all turns are. If they had used that $1 million in average inventory to generate sales with a cost of goods sold of $3 million, they would have turns of 3. Since any company would prefer $3 million in sales over $2 million in sales based on the same inventory, higher turns are better. Keep in mind that different industries have different structures so you cannot compare inventory turns across different industries. After all, a grocery store will have very different turns than a car dealer. Days of supply is an inventory measurement closely related to turns. In the earlier example, the firm had inventory turns of two. That is, they used $1 million in average inventory to generate $2 million in cost of goods sold. So, they turned the inventory over twice in one year. In other words, days of supplies 365 days divided by 2 equals 182.5. Since higher turns are better, it directly follows that lower days of supply are better. Remember this. This is a common mistake that students make. Inventory turns is calculated as the cost of goods sold divided by the average aggregate inventory value for all the inventory used for production. Days of supply is calculated as the average aggregate value of all inventory used for production divided by the quantity of cost of goods sold divided by 365 days. Days of supply can also be calculated as 365 days divided by inventory turns. Using this method allows you to directly see their relationship. In this example, last year a firm had cost of goods sold of $125 million. The average value of inventory is shown on the slide. These total to $7,460,000. Calculate the inventory turns and days of supply. Inventory turns is calculated as the cost of goods sold of $125 million divided by the average aggregate value of all inventory of $7,460,000. That equals 16.76. This number should not be rounded to a whole number. Days of supply is calculated as the average aggregate value of all inventory of $7,460,000 divided by the quantity of the cost of goods sold of $125 million divided by 365 days. That equals 21.78. Rounding this value is okay, but not required. Days of supply can also be calculated as 365 days divided by the turns of 16.76. You get the same answer either way. In this next example, a firm has cost of goods sold of $225 million. The average value of inventory shown on the slide. These total to $100,500,000. Calculate the inventory turns and days of supply. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. Inventory turns is calculated as the cost of goods sold of $225 million divided by the average aggregate inventory value of $100,500,000. That equals 2.24. Davis' supply is calculated as the average aggregate value of all the inventory of $100,500,000 divided by the quantity of the cost of goods sold of $225 million divided by 365 days. That equals 163.03. It can also be calculated as 365 days divided by the turns of 2.24. You get the same answer either way. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.